At the midway point of the qualifiers, some teams have already pulled ahead of the competition while others have a lot of catching up to do. Here in the obstacle race, this was present in Season 1, but was a different format, the Gravitrax format was only there in the individual league. This event, the crunch time for some of the teams that may be down in the order so that they can set themselves up well for the final qualifying event. Remember, finish top 4 in your group and you will have qualified for the Team Quadrilla Marble League. Majestic Melons and Golden Cheeses are the top two in Group A right now, but the Heliospheres, Celestials and Mountain Climbers at the bottom with 6 points each. They need a good result here before they get eliminated from qualification. Majestic Melons, Poison Ivy, Shadow Riders and the Mountain Climbers in Heat 1 of Group A. Remember, like the Quadrilla Race, it's just based on time and the heat. There are going to be no finals, just one chance to set a good time. The Shadow Riders have the lead. Now it's the Mountain Climbers. Shadow Riders get it back. Easily going to get the win. Mountain Climbers in second. They will barely hold on in front of the Poison Ivy. Then the Majestic Melons finally getting their first poor result in the qualifiers. They don't have to worry too much because they already got first and second. But it's not going to be a good result from the former captain. Shadow Riders would contour a very good time. 6.18 seconds. Redemption from getting lost in the last event. Golden Cheeses, Amber Animals, Heliospheres and the Celestials. The latter two at six points at the bottom. They need a good result here. Celestials know that. They have the lead. Amber Animals in second. They take it briefly, but the Celestials will get the win. Amber Animals second. Then it's the Heliospheres and the Golden Cheeses. Now how do the Celestials time stack up against the Shadow Riders time? Better of two will get the win in Group A. The Celestials, just a 7.27 second time, that is only good enough for second place. Pretty slow time for Solar and Mozzarella, they get lost too in the group, but the Shadow Riders win Group A. Very good result, they go back up into second place, Majestic Melons hold on, Celestials, Golden Cheeses, Mountain Climbers and Heliospheres in the relegation zone going to the final event, but it is very close in Group A. As we go to Group B, Sinister Sprinters got two wins in two qualifying events. They're followed by the Olive Orbs and the Treat Fleet, top three in Group B right now, have not qualified for Season 1, looking to get their maiden qualification here in the qualifiers. The Sprinters, Floundering Fish, Team Atlantic, and the Deserter. Deserters have two last place finishes in the two qualifying events. They need a good result here. Floundering Fish have the lead. Now Team Atlantic will get it. And Team Atlantic gets the win. Floundering Fish in second. Then it's the Sprinters and the Deserters after having the lead briefly at the beginning. Finish in last. That is terrible for them. Absolute heartbreak for the Deserters. They've tried so hard to get a good result and it's just not working for them. They will likely be eliminated after this event. As we head to Heat 2, Olive Orbs, Treat Fleet, Red Lotus, and the Venomous Vipers. They're chasing the mark set by the Team Atlantic, and the Venomous Vipers have the lead. Red Lotus take it, and they will get the win. Venomous Vipers nearly lost second place to the Olive Orbs, but they get it back right at the end. So Boa, the reserve of the Vipers, will hold on for second place in front of the captain of the Olive Orbs, Olive Tree. Treat Fleet get lost, but the Red Lotus, by five hundredths of a second, get the win in Group B. They beat Team Atlantic, and the Floundering Fish round out the top three. Sinister Sprinters get fourth, and that is good enough for them to guarantee qualification. And not much of a surprise, Deserters, with three last place finishers, are eliminated. No matter what they do in the final event, they will not be qualifying. As we head to Group C, Valley Dashers also got two wins in the first two qualifying events. They could potentially, like the Sinister Sprinters, guarantee their qualification right after this event. They're going to need a decent result to do so, as Ravine will be going for them, as well as Buttercup, the reserve of the Yellow Lotus, and Fry and Sapphire from the Eggs and the Aquamarines. As we get Group B, Group C underway, Valley Dashers have the lead. Now Yellow Lotus, Aquamarines had it briefly, but the Yellow Lotus will hold on for the win. Aquamarines in second place, Efficient Eggs get third, tried to get second, but Fry couldn't make the move, and the Valley Dashers finish in last. 
But Buttercup, the reserve of the Yellow Lotus, getting it done for them, 6.47 seconds. That is the second best time we have seen today. They were likely going to win the event, unless the Bacon Brawlers, Nickel Knights, Rock Pools, or Bobble Squad dethrone them. Here, in Group C Heat 2, ba Bobble Squad have it, Bacon Brawlers now, they get stuck, Rock Pools have the lead, Bobble Squad at the bottom, they get it, and the Nickel Knights drafting with them, they get by the Rock Pools as well. Look at this, the Rock Pools had it, but they get passed by both the Bobble Squad and the Nickel Knights, the Bacon Brawlers, after having the lead, they'll get a very slow time, 9.19 seconds, that is going to be lost in Group C. But Yellow Lotus, hold on for the win in Group C. Aquamarines in second, they needed that. And the Efficient Eggs get third. So the Valley Dashers haven't guaranteed their qualification. Yellow Lotus move up to second place. Nickel Knights and Efficient Eggs get third and fourth. But it's a very close group in Group C as well. Congratulations, though, to the Shadow Riders, Red Lotus, and the Yellow Lotus for winning the obstacle race in their groups. The Lotus teams, a good event for them. Could we potentially be seeing all four Lotus teams qualify? Well, we're going to find out in the final qualifying event, the Relay Race, coming soon. Mm -hmm.